Good morning, folks. The sun is as calm as can be, saving up its energy until the next uptick set to occur at the end of the first week in December. Northern coronal hole departing. Southern opening has no equatorial extensions. There are plenty of active regions on the disk. The sunspots are the bright areas here. But there is no flaring. The x-ray flux is on the floor despite an endless stream of dark umbras. The departing groups are no longer an Earth-directed CME concern, and of the incoming groups, only the South has any real chance of flaring with that magnetic mixing in the Central Corridor. The incoming spots? Somewhat puny. If you haven't been here very long and are wondering what all this sun stuff is about, you're probably not alone. But the how, the what, and why we watch is laid out in the Sun Series playlist, which can be found on our YouTube channel or right below this very video in the link list. Highly recommend it. Kicking to weather where Wyoming weathered wind whipping well above normal from the west. Did you get all that? Good. I almost fell off my chair yesterday when I saw this article about how cold is a thing of the past. It's from November 21st, and the very next article released, the very next day, was this. Not to beat a dead horse here, but if you didn't catch yesterday's program, here are the cold records for this year so far at the bottom of the box. Heat records are to the left of those. Daily and monthly records show how the heat has been hilariously outmatched this year. Today we'll watch the Hudson Low up north draw a brief warm-up on the eastern convergence while yet another cold blast trails on the western side. This is why you'll see rain followed by a cold snap as fast as you can say Al Gore. Meanwhile. The flow off the western low will continue to bring precipitation to the coastlines, even mitigating the drought just a bit. That couldn't come soon enough, really, because there is nothing in the desert, and no man needs nothing. Europe will watch a power low taking on Iceland while the remaining watches stir in the Mediterranean. Easily visible flows there. Purple watches are no surprise, including the southwest Norway wind warnings. Down under, it's now much easier to see the colliding air masses from the south and the north. They'll work out their differences overhead and everyone below will know it. That same direct flow remains at New Zealand as well. The Mobile Observatory is just west of Tampa, Florida today. We're at the Clearwater RV Resort from 1 to 3 p.m. Park near the pool, walk towards Bayview Avenue. Details can be found at observatoryproject.com. Got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.